Hi guys, I hope you're all doing fantastically today and in today's video we're going to be talking about coach. Now if this is your first video uh, with me, thank you so much for coming and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back, I'm happy to have you here. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so, it makes such a huge difference. And in today's video we'll be doing a tour of this bag. Um, I did purchase this from the Coach Outlet site. It's a new item, I believe, at the time of filming this. And I will be doing a tour, going through it, uh, the measurements, etc, etc. And I'll also be making some comparisons to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. So I'll just bring that quickly on screen here. This is my gorgeous garden edition. And the reason why I'm going to be making the comparison is because of the length here being uh, 10 inches which is just over 25 centimeters so it should mean that these two in theory lengthwise should be pretty similar which they are so we'll be making some comparisons to sizing etc and seeing if this can actually work in terms of storing the same amount as the Louis Vuitton so before we get started a quick disclaimer here this video is for entertainment purposes only Whatever you choose to spend your hard-earned money on is completely up to you. Luxury or not. So, let's do the tour. So, this bag is known as the Rowan Satchel. I'll put some information on the screen here as I'm speaking. And the reason why I opted for this bag is I wanted a black all-leather bag that had a bit more storage and that bowling bag shape is quite um, good for storage. Um, in terms of how much you can put in the bag and I also wanted something that I could throw around not baby too much but still have that tactile experience and you can see that here as I'm pushing on the bag um, as per the information on the website this is a leather and Nappa leather mix I believe I'll put something on screen now to kind of show you the description of the fabrication of the bag but this is outlet so let's do a tour and see what it's like so the first thing you see here is the logo. So I'll put that here so you can see it. It does say Coach New York there. That might not be easy to read, so I apologize for that. And it does come with feet, so I will show that straight away. And as you can see here, this leather has a slightly different feel and look to this leather. So when I put them like that, you can kind of see the difference. Okay. Now, it looks like the hardware still has Coach branding on it. So if I bring this in, you can see this does say Coach. Let me try and do it so it doesn't blow out. Uh, that's about as good as it's going to get. So this does say Coach here, along with this one, these at the back. But even the zipper says Coach. So let me move that around here. So let me see if that blows up. You can see this says Coach as well. I'm just going to move it back and forth apologies if this is a little bit blurry let me ah there coach there you go okay it does come with a back pocket and it does come still with a tag okay so back pocket let's see so it is a oh this back pocket is not huge it does have a fabric lining let me see so this will definitely fit AirPods and a small card holder in here. Um, I'm just going to get a mirror, a compact mirror that I have. So I have this to hand. This is my little Chanel compact mirror. And if I pop that in, the Chanel compact, you can see there if I open it up, I could probably fit this in twice. Yeah, I could fit it in twice because I can tuck this to one side, as you can see there. And then could put another one just about there there's a little space on the side could I put in a third probably not but I'll probably squeeze two two and a half of these in here so it might be big enough for some smaller phones but probably not for the largest sizes let me let me see so what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a picture um on the screen now of my phone I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max and I'll show if that actually fit in here or not um, at worst, it'll probably be standing like this, but at best, it hopefully fits in. It might be a tight fit. It may not zip close, but 
maybe it can get in there for quick access. But this should fit um, cards, a very small card holder, a uh, six key holder. Let me get my six key holder. Um, bear with me, guys. There we are. So here's my Louis Vuitton six key holder. Goes in there, no problem. Okay, you can see that. And can I put it in standing? Probably not. Let's try. Yes, I can, but it wouldn't zip close. So you can see that there. Okay. I do have a card, well, not a card holder, but a purse here. This this one is from YSL, and it does come um, with a zip at the top and then some card slots inside. Does that fit? No, it does not. It is too big. So it'd have to be a card holder and not a small purse, unfortunately. Does it fit glasses? So I've got my Prada sunglasses here. Had these for a while. Would it fit that in? Yes. So if you had reading glasses, something like that, and you have a uh, drawstring little pouch, they should be able to fit in here because it has room to spare. You can see me wiggling it back and forth. So let's take that out. I would recommend a pouch though, a little drawstring pouch to prevent it from scratching on this. Of course, AirPods will fit, no problem. And chewing gum and these things, uh, cable, charger, that kind of thing. And I do have this coach little pouch here, which I use very often. Uh, it's actually open, let me close it. And that should fit in, no problem. I wouldn't think this is big enough for a toiletry 15. I do I have I do have a mini pochette, but it's not at reach within reach, so I wouldn't be able to say if it fit in here, but if it did, it would be a very big squeeze. I wouldn't necessarily want to scratch the canvas against this zipper. Okay, so let's close that. Let's open the inside. And this again is a fabric lining, so let me see what I can pull out you can see that there so this is probably where I would say my opinion this is not fact it's just an opinion that maybe this is where we see the difference between outlet and and regular coach the, the, the lining feels a little different there's no coach branding on here and there is branding on this piece here so let me bring that in close so you can see that let me you can see it there so I'll put on screen what this says because I'm struggling to read it. But yes, it does have the uh, story pouch piece here. It also has a regular zipper here. No branding on this zipper. So it does have a little made in here. So I'll put that there. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely say I feel the difference in this element here. So the fabric lining feels different to me in my opinion to regular coach bags but it still has the story patch on there so that's quite cool now this has plenty of storage so you can fit all your essentials in here just like you would a speedy 25 and it also does come with a crossbody strap so I'll bring that in here and I'll put back on screen the information about the uh, strap because I believe it does have an adjustable piece here as you can see of some inches and it's a regular clasp no branding on the strap on this occasion but it does have this piece here to hold the strap in place so you can clip that on and then wear it so it's very easy to put on just clip and go so can this fit a bottle of water the answer is yes it can so i actually have a larger than usual bottle of water here um, this is actually a one litre and that goes in no problem. So it's definitely going to fit in a regular 500 ml bottle of water that we have here in the UK, the standard size. So let me take this out, put that to one side. Okay. So will it fit in all my essentials? Yes, it will fit in purse, key holder, Airpods, pouch, another pouch, 
Uh, it's also going to fit in sanitizer. And you can see there's tons of space still left that I can run around in. And that's the thing. This is the kind of size bag that I can grab, you know, other items and put them in here. Small things like, you know, maybe you want to use this as a gym bag and just take an extra t-shirt and a pair of leggings or shorts, you know, rolled up in here. It's probably going to fit. Um, things like additional snacks are going to fit in here. That bottle, that drink will fit in here. A bottle of water will fit in here. All of those kind of, you know, essential items plus a few extras. And that's what I love about this bag is it holds its shape pretty well because of the firm bottom right here. It's not too hard, but it's just a little bit harder than the rest. So it's not, it doesn't want to drop. So if I put back in the purse and I put it to one side, you can see the bottom isn't really bowing with that little bit of weight. It's kind of holding its shape, which is great. So, I did use this bag a few times. I've very much enjoyed using it. It's a relatively carefree bag, but what I will note is because the leather is soft, if you do squeeze it and smush it too much, it will show a little bit of wear and tear. But it is a soft Nappa leather bag, so I expect that. But if you're not comfortable with that and you want it to stay looking pristine all the time, this may not be the right kind of fabrication for you. But I love smushing it and squeezing it and feeling it. And, you know, for outlet prices, I'm not too fussy about it. Um, this bag does come in other colours. It comes in a kind of lilac colour and a kind of lime, a lime-esque, kind of lemony, limey kind of colour. So I'll put those on screen as well in case I, uh, you haven't seen them already. So I'll do that now. Okay. So let's do the comparison to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. So there's the coach. Here is my Speedy 25. And this is the one that comes with a strap. So it's a bandolier. And I did purchase this as part of a garden collection um, over, I think it was a year ago now. Uh, I do have a full video reviewing this bag. So if you'd like to see it, then please uh please do i'll put the link somewhere on the screen now so you can see it and then uh, if you want to go ahead and watch that please do so okay so this bag also comes with a strap so i will say that there you go there's a strap in there and it also comes with a padlock let me open that here also comes with a padlock so let's see here There you go. So, I'll put that to one side for now. So let's talk about the sizing difference. So this is exactly a Speedy 25, so it's 25 centimeters. This on the website is 10 inches, which I believe is 25.4 centimeters. So if I hold them side to side and I just make sure they're both meeting up there, you can see the sizing looks pretty much the same. And I think the difference is probably because of the puffiness of this bag kind of sticking out on the edge here. But they're basically pretty much a similar size. Let me just... Sorry. I do have a shaper in the bottom of this bag, so I'm just going to give it a little push to make sure all the edges are... There we go. Yes. They're all good. So... There we go. Of course, the bag is empty, so it takes a little bit of adjustment. There we go. When it's full, it holds its shape perfectly. Okay, so there you go. You can see there the bottoms of the bags. So I will just give it a little pull up and down. Now let's talk about the height. So as you can see, the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 is actually a little bit higher. I'm not including the feet here for size comparison. Okay, so let's pretend neither of them had feet, so they both met in the same place here. Then yes, the Speedy 25 does have more storage. You can see that extra inch up here. Ish. Not exactly an inch, but roughly an inch. So that means this will hold more than the coach bag does. Then let's turn it to the front for width. And as you can see here, again, the Louis Vuitton Speedy 
does have more width than this bag does here so again this will fit in more than this does now this does ring true to me because this bag is a huge tardis it's not very big in terms of the physical size but for some reason the capacity on these kinds of bags is huge um it's a lot bigger than you'd expect so if you want more storage i would opt for a Louis Vuitton speedy obviously it doesn't have to be this edition but you know just a regular speedy bandola 25 um it's going to fit in all the things you need if you're happy to go for a small a slightly smaller version of the bag and something um and something that's le all leather then this would be a great option for you as well um obviously the pricing is pff, not comparable right um this is obviously far far more affordable than this is but i know affordable is a relative term especially right now so i don't i don't say that lightly but this is definitely at a lower price point than this is so let me put that to one side so in terms of comparison to louis vuitton speedy this is slightly smaller in terms of width and in terms of height but the length at the bottom is almost the same and in terms of the handles so let's look at the handles quickly because that's also a question if you compare the handles you can see that the coach handles actually bigger than the Louis Vuitton speed. So let me just bring that here. You can see, if I just do that and slice it in half, you can see this one has higher reach than the speedy. So let me try and bring them together. There you go. You can see this falls slightly lower than this does. Let me try and bring it in like that. There you go. So the coach does have wider handles so if you're somebody who likes to hold things on the crook of your arm this may be the better bag for you whereas the speedy 25 if i do the same thing i'm more limited in how far i can take the bag you can see here if i turn it around it's rather tight on the arm at this point not uncomfortably so but i'm aware of its presence whereas on the coach i could slide this further up my arm but of course, that's dependent upon your sizing. But yeah, that's it for this video. Just a quick tour of this bag um, and what it can fit in and a quick comparison to the Speedy 25. Um, they're not the equivalent. It isn't apple and orange, but I know a lot of people look at these kinds of bags and go, oh, well, it's similar to a Speedy. Should I get a Speedy or should I get this more affordable version? Well, it depends upon what you can afford, what you want, how you use and enjoy the bag. The speedies are very, you know, hardy and in the canvas, but this is leather. It's far more tactile. It's far more, you know, something you can touch and use and enjoy. And maybe the speedy is not a style you want because everybody kind of has it. And with this bag, if you don't want people to see the logo, you can just turn it around and use it this way. Or when you're carrying it, you can just cover up the logo no one's going to know but yeah and you can also remove the tag this tag is also removable so let me know what you think in the comments please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one guys okay bye for now